In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Excel 88 and 89, in which we're going to change the chart format. Now, while the Chart Tools Design tab contains pre-configured chart layouts you can apply to a chart, the Chart Elements button makes it easy to add, remove, and modify individual chart objects, such as a chart title or legend. Using options on the shortcut menu, or using the Add Chart Elements button on the Chart Tools Design tab, you can also add text to a chart, add and modify labels, change the display of axis, modify the fill behind the plot area, create titles for the horizontal and vertical axis, and eliminate or change the look of grid lines. You can format the text in a chart object using the Home tab or the Mini Toolbar, just as you would the text in a worksheet. Now on step one on page Excel 88, it tells us that with the chart still selected, so we need to make sure the chart is still selected, we need to click the Add Chart Element button in the Charts Layout group, and that's on the Chart Tools Design tab uh, on there. And of course, that's over here on the far left-hand side, and there's the Add Chart Elements button. Once we have that, it tells us that we want to point to the grid lines, which is down here, and then it tells us to click the primary major horizontal. And what that does is that's actually going to deselect it. Now, of course, we can notice that the grid lines that extend from the value axis tick marks across the chart's plot area are removed from the chart, as you can see uh, right here. Now in step two, it tells us that we want to click on the Charts Element button. So we want to click on this little plus sign right here, which is in the upper right-hand corner of the outside of the chart border. Once we click on that, we want to go through there and we want to go to uh, Grid Lines here. And we're going to click on this arrow. Once we click on the little arrow next to Grid Lines, we're going to click on Primary, Major, Horizontal. Or excuse, uh, we, yes, we do want to click on Primary, Major, Horizontal, but we also want to click on Primary, Minor, Horizontal. And then, of course, once we have those two selected there, we're going to click back on this plus sign to deselect it. And that closes the Chart Elements Flyout menu, as they call that. And now both the major and minor grid lines now appear in the chart. Now major grid lines represent the values uh, at the value axis tick marks. And the minor grid lines represent the values between the tick marks. So the thicker line that you see there, that is the major grid lines, while the thinner lines are the minor grid lines. In step three, it tells us that we want to click back on our uh, plus sign here again, and this is the Charts Elements button again. Once we have that, it tells us that we want to click the Axis Titles checkbox. And of course, we click on this right here, and that is going to select all the Axis Titles options. And of course, if you want to just verify that, you can click on the arrow beside it, and there's the different options that are there. Then next it tells us uh, that we want to triple click the vertical axis title on the chart. Uh, so we want to triple click this. And that's of course going to select all of it there. And we want to type in expenses in, and of course dollars, and this is using the dollar sign. So we're just gonna replace this with expenses. And parentheses in and then the dollar sign and close your parentheses. Now the descriptive text on the category axis helps the reader to understand the chart. Now you can move any title to a new position by clicking one of its edges and just dragging it to wherever you want to. Now in step four it tells us that we want to triple click the horizontal axis title, and that's down here at the bottom. So we want to triple click, and that's going to select it all. And we want to type in tour countries. Now the text tour countries appears in the horizontal axis, as we see here. 
course you can just click to deselect it as well. Next, on step five, it tells us that we want to right click the horizontal access labels. And of course that is the Australian, Britain, and so forth. We can just right click on one of those and that's going to select all of them there. And we're going to click on the font on the shortcut menu that pops up here. And once we have that, this is where we can change our font uh, or some other options uh, of this uh, label here. And it tells us that we want to click the Latin text font list arrow uh, that's on there. Of course, notice that we're here we have the Latin text font. And right now it has plus body, but we want to change this on here. Uh, we want to change this to Times New Roman. So we have to scroll down. Now, unlike in the regular font um, uh, selection box, this is not written in the um, font styles, uh, so you can't quite tell what it looks like until you actually select it. But we want to choose Times New Roman here. And then we want to change the size of this from a size 9 down to a size 8. So you may have to, uh, you can click and type uh, in there, or you can use the size handles and just uh, until you see that the size 8 is there. Once we have the Times New Roman and the size 8 selected, we're going to click on OK, and we notice that now the font of the horizontal access labels changed to the Times New Roman, and the font size decreases, making more of the plot area visible. Now, of course, you can also edit uh, text in a chart or access title by positioning the pointer over the selected title until it changes into an I-beam pointer, and then you can click the title, and then, of course, you can edit the text. Now, with step six, with the horizontal access label, with this still selected, we're going to click on our Home tab up here, and we're going to click on the Format Painter button. So even in charts, we can use the Format Painter button. And, of course, that's in the clipboard group. And then it tells us we want to click the area within the vertical axis labels uh, that's on there. So we're going to click on the area within the vertical axis labels. And of course, that's right in here. And notice that it has changed the uh, numbers on here uh, from the uh, font, the default font to now the Times New Roman in size 8 as well. Now step 7 tells us that we want to right click the chart title that we've uh, modified not too long ago. And that's the quarterly tour expenses. And then we're going to click on the format chart title on the shortcut menu that appears. And of course that's the bottom option that's there. And of course here we have the chart title pane that appears. We're going to go through here and click on the border uh, list arrow here and then what we're going to do is we're going to click the solid line option button so underneath here where we have right now automatic we're just going to choose a solid line and of course we'll notice that now a solid border will appear around the chart title and it's going to appear in the default blue color now you can also apply a border to a selected chart object by clicking the shape outline list arrow on the charts tool tab um, and then selecting from the available options. Next on step 8 it tells us that we're going to go through there and we're going to click on the effects button and that is this button right up here in the charts title uh, task pane where it just says effects if you point to it and of course that changed that here and it tells us that we want to click on shadow then next it tells us that we want to click on the presets list arrow and of course that gives us a different set of uh, presets uh, for the shadows and it tells us that we want to click on the offset diagonal bottom right and of course that's going to be in the outer, outer group on there and that's the first row first from the left and of course that's this one right here uh, if you're looking for that one and of course when we click on that notice it just gives just a hint of a shadow behind the text box of the chart title 
Once we have that, we can click on our close button here on the format chart title um, task pane. And then we can go ahead and save our work. Of course, a quick tip as well, you can also apply a shadow to a selected chart object by clicking uh, the shadow arrow and then clicking a shadow effect. Now on page 89 at the bottom there talks a little bit about adding data labels to a chart. Now there are times when your audience might benefit from seeing data labels on a chart. These labels appear next to the data markers in the chart and can in, uh, indicate the series name, category name, and or the value of one or more of the data points. Now once your chart is selected, you can add this information to your chart by clicking the Charts Elements button in the upper right hand corner outside this selected chart. Then clicking the Chart Data Labels arrow and then clicking a Display option for the data labels. Once you have added the data labels, you can format them or delete them on an individual basis. Now to delete a data label, all you have to do is select it and then click on Delete. So go ahead and make sure that your work is now saved and you are ready to move on to the next video.